All right, well, we're going to play a little bit of a game this morning. We're going to see how many of you guys can guess what's going on here. And how many of you can guess, guess what the problem is. And if you win, you win absolutely nothing. But it's worth a shot for funsies. So, let's start off with the zero turn here. Actually, it's mainly about the zero turn. Yeah, we got a, uh, we got a little something missing there. I'm thinking about sticking that uh, weed whacker motor back in with the little weed eater. Not, but um, yeah. All right. So that so there's so there's the the first thing right there. Let's let's now let's try and piece together on what is missing the vital part on this motor. So we're gonna start over here. See if you guys can guess. All right. Now we're going to move over here. Let's see if you guys can take a guess. All right. Any guesses yet? Did you give up? So, remember how uh, last night there, um, or should I say all fucking... I don't know even how long I've had it. Almost a year now I've had this mower. I basically rigged it so the governor would just work automatically. And I knew something wasn't right. I, I knew something wasn't right when I put this motor on there. So I figured, you know what? I could finally figure out how to adjust everything. So I, I, I literally took apart the linkages, the carburetor, the adjusting the governor like six times last night and three this morning. And I'm like, fuck this. This is something else wrong here. Now, so I was like, all right, I'm going to, fuck it, I'll pull the engine off the zero turn and just crack it open. Maybe there's something wrong with the governor. Well, there's nothing wrong with this. You know, this moves freely and everything's like it should. But it's missing the whole little plastic unit that's got the little guys on it. And yeah, that's missing. Holy I just can't believe it. Usually there's another little gear piece that goes right in here and it's a little plastic gear piece and it usually just spreads open when you know when you put that guy on there and it goes woo, woo, you know it's kind of, sort of like your oil slinger as well. Uh, well I, I've run into some problems here. It's not as simple as just replacing that one little part. Uh -uh. The block is actually trash believe it or not. I'll spin the engine around over here and we could take further look I will break out my phone so you guys can see more of the problem. And I got a phone call I gotta make. Alright, how's that look, guys? Something doesn't look right there. How's that? Doesn't it look a little uh, mushroomed out? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I, I don't even know what to guess, really. <laughs> uh, I guess, well, basically, that piece right there. It's completely cocked over big time. You, there's no way of even putting another uh, the guider piece in there. Because if we do, it's just going to go tippy tippy. Uh, I can show you maybe with a bolt or something. So basically, let's say this is the guide that's supposed to go in that hole there. You put the gear right on top of that wall. If you put it on there, guess what? Look at how freaking loose that is. And that's actually a pretty damn decent size that will actually fit in there. And, uh, you know, it fits in the bottom good, but when you go up here, look at that. Yeah, junk. So, that motor's no good. Time to find another one. Not so happy, happy, happy this morning. <laughs> I've been out here for, holy, I've been out here for quite a while trying to figure out this problem. I came out here at 10.30, and it's now 1.30. Oh, you do the math. So, this is what we got going on. We got a shitty ass motor, and I gotta find a motor to put on that zero turn again. How many motors have been on that? Let's see. We had the original, how many horse? That was a, an original 17 horse we had on that. That was blown up when I got it. And we put a, was it a 16 horse on it? I think it was like a 16 horse we put on a cola. These are both two coals. The 17 was a cola, the 16 was a cola, and that didn't work. Then, what else was on there? There was something else on there. Oh, maybe that's it. And then we put this engine on. I get this engine from a guy uh, who sold me the drill press. And if you remember that piece of shit 
uh, gold tractor craftsman I had at the end of the season last year that I couldn't even really sell. Yeah, I, he sold me that and this engine for I think it was like 200 bucks. Well, should have known about the engine. <laughs> because when I first got the engine, the governor, if you remember recalling, the governor was actually off. And there was actually like two bolts missing out of right here. So I should have known. But now we know because, yeah. Yeah. So that would explain a lot of things. So I'm on a mission right now. I'm on Craigslist trying to find a motor. Uh, I got to get this thing done by like Thursday. Yeah. You know, there's no fucking around no more. I, get, I really want to get this thing done so I can sell it and get it out of here. Um, so that that's what I've come about with in the past three, four hours of going about this, and uh, I'm not too happy. So we gotta figure something out here. Uh, I'm imagining I'm probably just gonna have to part out the engine because, well, there's, the block is junk basically because someone either blew it up or they stole the, uh, the piece out of it and they wrecked the aluminum. So that's where I'm at this morning. How's your day going so far? Sure is better than mine. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm almost tempted just to buy a brand new engine and put it in this thing, you know. You, 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 you might get better results in selling it, you know. You can advertise it with a brand new engine, but, you know, you, you never know. So, I got to price out a couple of engines. I got to call a couple of guys I know who have some tractors that have engines on them. And try to find uh, an engine to get on here because we need something bigger than a 17. Because this thing's slow as fuck with a 17 and the 20 actually did a pretty good job on it so we're going to try and find a 20 or bigger engine to put on this whether it's a v-twin or a single and we're not putting an opposed twin on there because they suck no offense to you opposed twin lovers but guys seriously don't get me wrong they freaking eat through gas like i don't know but they just eat through gas <laughs> they eat through gas like a freaking hungry 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 hippo how's that you know but anyway, that's where we get going on this morning, and, uh, yeah. Holy, wasn't expecting this. Just that last little video clip, I was telling you guys about how I gotta find a motor, and then just before I said that, I said, oh, I gotta call someone. Get a load of this. This is, like, perfect timing. Alright, I can't show you guys the phone, because it's got the, uh, phone numbers in it, but listen to this one. Come on. Gee, that Craftsman lawnmower I was talking about is a tan color. It's an LXT 1000 Craftsman with a Bridge and Stratton intake twin V 20 horsepower motor on it. Um, it's got a Bridge and Stratton that says L. LTX 1000 Craftsman, Bridge and Stratton, INTEX. So you can't quite get much better than that if you guys can make out the, 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 uh, the guy in the talk in there. Um, that's my cousin's uh, uh, husband. And uh, basically, he called me up yesterday. He coaches a little league baseball team, and they have this extra tractor that they're trying to get rid of. Um, and they, they, he called me up yesterday and asked me if I'd buy it. And uh, he said it was silver, I knew right off the bat, silver, it's old, it's junk. <laughs> but he actually just called me back and in the message there, it said, cross from LTX, and how fucking ironic is that? I was just talking about that gold tractor, like, in the last video. Like, how funny is that? So, um, I don't know, I guess we get a friggin' tractor to go pick up now. <laughs> like, how funny is that? Perfect timing, so... Uh, the money they're out. They wanted 400 yesterday, but they say I can pick it up for 300. And uh, basically, once I give them the 300, the money's gonna go towards a little league program. So that'll be pretty cool. So I think I might grab it, help out a community, even though it's not anywhere around here. Around here, it's in Quincy, Quincy, Mass. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. So I guess I found an engine. At least it's a 20. At least it's a V twin. At least it's an Intec that's gonna bolt right up and fit. Or love that kind. Here guys, I know it wasn't much of a video making day, but it gives you something to watch. Uh, it's kind of early in the day to be in the video, I gotta say, it's only like 3 o'clock. And uh, it's really not gonna be a whole lot, I was gonna do my truck spray today, but a buddy of mine says he can get a pretty good deal down in Napa, so I'm gonna wait, and we'll have to wait and see how that turns out. Uh, 
Is it Napa or AutoZone? One of the other two. But so he'll give me a deal. Uh, he works down there, so I'll have to wait and see how that all works out. But hopefully tomorrow I'll go down to uh, Winthrop for those on Quincy, but it's actually Winthrop. Um, be able to pick up the uh, tractor, bring it back, rip it apart, and put it on this thing. So that's as far as playing. Uh, I think the LTX series has the volt regulator already on it. Uh, so hopefully I won't have to pull the flywheel and the stator off and all that good stuff. But it should be all set. I think they have the, uh, the, the setup already on it. And uh, with this engine here, I'll probably just end up parting it out. I mean, you know, the, the crank is a pretty common issue with these and the garage when they blow. So I'll probably just pull the crank out, pull the cam out, pull the uh, connecting rods and the pistons out, the carburetor, the heads. The heads are another common problem. Uh, the valve seals like to go on them and the carburetor, well, that's basically a rebuilt carburetor. You know, it's got a couple new jets in there. So I'll probably just end up parting this engine out, you know. Uh, and then the rest will just go to the scrap here, like the block and such, because the block's junk. There's no fixing it, really. Um, unless you get an aluminum welder, and you're all set, but it's not worth it. And, you know, the oil sub's still pretty good. So, I think that'll be the plan for this guy, unfortunately. I guess uh, yesterday was the last time, or I had it run early today, but I guess yesterday will be the last time you ever hear this engine run. Um, so, if you need some parts for a V-twin, I got some. I think these parts here will work from 20 to 25 horsepower. Uh, I could be wrong, it could be 18 to 25, 8 too. I'm not quite sure. So that's what we're going to do with that. And hopefully, we, I'm trying to get this thing ready for the weekend. I, I think this weekend, hopefully, get this thing sold this weekend. Uh, I think the asking price is going to be about 14, 1500 bucks. Uh, first come, first serve type deal. There's actually two on Craigslist, there's one in New Hampshire. Uh, there's one, actually there's three. There's one in New Hampshire, one in Mass, and there's one in uh, Rhode Island. The one in Rhode Island, I think, is missing the uh, mower deck, and they're asking a thousand bucks. Um, the other two, they're around like eighteen, nineteen hundred bucks. So yeah, you do the math. <laughs> it's a pretty good deal, especially for the work that I'm putting into it. You know. So anyway, that's this weekend's plan: get her sold, and yeah. Um, so, I guess that's about it. So, we'll probably talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll get everything all settled in. And I will talk to you then. Have a good day, guys. Uh, craziest thing happened about an hour ago. Um, I don't know. I was outside. I was actually working on my floor jack. I put some new, uh, whatever I did with the bottle, the jack oil in. I bought yesterday down at the Walmart. I also bought a bag of grass seed, and I was... You know, I fretted it out, welded it up a little bit, and I ended the video at, I'm not quite sure really what the time it was, it was like three something or other, and I felt some kind of sort of weird ground shake, I was like, ah, fuck it, nothing important, I'm thinking I'm hallucinating again, and I get in the house, it turned out there was actually a pretty good explosion not too far from here. Um, for those of you who don't know, the uh, Boston Marathon was running today, and I guess there was a little bit of a technicality there, I guess, uh, two bombs went off, um, so that's not good there, that's pretty upsetting, you know, especially on a nice little holiday like it is, and, you know, people just want to go out there and run, and where it happened, it's, honestly, it's not that far from here, it's, uh, if you walk, maybe go half hour, if you drive, five minutes, it's not that far at all, and uh, it was something else, I'll tell you that, and it's not good. So for those who just want to know, I'm still here, I'm still kicking, didn't die. No limbs broken off, which, you know, that's what happened to a lot of people there. So that's not good. Um, anyway, like I said, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you guys will have a good one. And prayers and thoughts are out to the guys and women that got hurt today in the marathon. Not that good of a deal. Anyway. We'll talk to you guys later. See you.